The video contains general guidelines of TAFE Power Genset. Genset commissioning process starts after proper installation of Genset as per recommended guidelines. Visually inspect the Genset for any external damages. Check the condition of all door locks and hinges. Open Genset's doors and verify condition of internal components, foam and door beading fitment. Remove all AVM locks provided above engine and alternator mounting channels. Remove plastic cap from engine exhaust manifold. Connect expansion bellow and exhaust manifold using the gasket provided. Tighten the bolts properly to avoid exhaust leakage. Caution. Ensure that no washer or bolt enters inside exhaust manifold during fitment. Remove cover plate from silencer outlet. Connect exhaust stack pipe with provided gasket and tighten all bolts properly. Ensure that evacuator valve of air cleaner facing downward. Also check the condition of vacuum indicator, inlet hose and clamps. For air-cooled gensets, visually inspect the condition of blower cover and wire mesh. Check V-belt tension by pressing the thumb at the center of longest span. Deflection should be within 8 to 10 millimeters. For water-cooled gensets, check the level of coolant in the radiator and recovery bottle. It should be close to maximum level. Ensure that radiator fan blade are not fouling with shroud on any side. Check the level of lubricating oil through dipstick. It should be at maximum level. For standard operating condition, the recommended oil grade is API CI4 15W40 or above. Fill clean diesel in fuel tank up to a minimum of 40% level. Check proper tightness of banjo bolts on suction and return fuel pipes. For inline fuel system, air bleeding should be carried out by opening the banjo bolt provided at feet pump outlet. And do hand priming. Once diesel starts flowing, tighten the banjo bolt. Then, loosen the air bleeding screw of overflow valve provided on fuel injection pump and do hand priming. After removal of air, tighten the screw. For CRDI fuel system, air bleeding should be carried out in proper sequence. First, open the air bleeding screw provided at transfer pump inlet. Do hand priming and tighten it. Then, removal of air at fuel filter inlet through air bleeding screw and tighten it. Lastly, loosen air bleeding screw at fuel filter outlet do hand priming and tighten it. Check tight movement of hand primer by pressing it two to three times. Open the control panel door and check the tightness of input power cables coming from main alternator. Ensure that main input and output load power cables are as per recommended size and properly fitted along with PVC glands and lugs. Use battery of recommended capacity in the genset. First, Connect positive battery lead with correct terminal of battery and then connect negative battery lead. Ensure proper tightness of both the leads and then apply petroleum jelly on terminals. Check that battery lead is not fouling or rubbing with any sharp edges. Switch on the DC MCB provided inside the control panel and check that the controller is in power on mode. Before starting the engine, carry out dead cranking for 10 seconds. Hold solenoid in stop position by pulling link rod towards flywheel side. Then press start button on controller. By this process, engine will crank but will not start. After dead cranking, open the control panel door and switch on the genset MCB. 
press start button of controller to start the genset. After starting the genset, check for any leakages of oil, fuel, coolant or exhaust gas. Observe parameters like lube oil pressure, cylinder temperature, coolant temperature, genset voltage and frequency on genset controller through up and down navigation buttons. Verify proper functioning of genset safeties through following steps. Put exhaust fan MCB in off position. The genset will shut down and controller will display fan fault alarm. Reset the alarm by pressing the stop button twice. Remove connection from LLOP switch and touch with unpainted surface on engine body. Genset will shut down with LLOP alarm. Reset the alarm. To verify HCT or HWT safety, remove the connection and touch with engine body. Genset will shut down with alarm on controller. Similarly, verify working on emergency push button by pressing and the genset will shut down. Press stop button twice to reset the alarms. To check the proper working of mains and genset contactors, Start the genset manually through start button of controller. Then press the push buttons provided for closing and tripping of mains and genset contactors one by one to keep the genset in auto mode. Press the auto button provided on controller. Verify on load parameters like frequency, ampere and voltage on the controller. For three phase genset, ensure that the maximum unbalanced load on three phases should not be more than 25 percent. 